एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट सिक्स फाइंड द हाइस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर विच इज एब्रीवेटेड एज एच सी एफ ऑफ ईच पेयर ऑफ नंबर सेंस द नेम एच सी एफ और दाइस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर इज अ नंबर दैट इज द ग्रेटेस्ट फैक्टर ऑफ ऑल द गिवन नंबर ओके एफ वी अप्लाई दिस डेफिनेशन टू पार्ट ए पार्ट ए कंटेंट्स टू नंबर थ्री एंड सिक्स फैक्टर्स ऑफ थ्री आर वन एंड थ्री एंड फैक्टर्स ऑफ सिक्स आर वन टू थ्री एंड सिक्स सो आउट ऑफ दीज फैक्टर्स द कॉमन फैक्टर्स आर वन एंड थ्री सो आउट ऑफ दीज कॉमन फैक्टर्स द ग्रेटेस्ट और द हाइएस्ट वन इज थ्री सो दिस इज द एच सी एफ Similarly, part B, we need to find out the HCF of twenty-four and sixteen. So, factors of twenty-four are one, two, three, four, six, eight, not ten, not eleven, but twelve. Then twenty-four itself, and the factors of sixteen are one, two, four, eight, and sixteen itself. Okay, now out of all these factors, one is a common factor. Two is also a com common factor. Four is also a common factor, as well as eight. So, out of all these common factors, eight is the greatest or the highest. So, HCF is going to be eight. So, this is how you can figure out the highest common factors of these two given numbers. okay similarly part c we need to figure out the highest common factor of 15 and 40 the factors of 15 are 1 3 5 15 factors of 40 are 1 2 4 Five eights are forty. Eight fives are forty. And uh, ten, ten fours are, and two twenties are, and then forty. So these are the two lists of the factors of fifteen and forty uh, respectively. So out of these, the common factors are one, five. and that's it so the highest of these two is 5 so that's why hcf is 5 that means the numbers 15 and 40 are divisible by uh, all those numbers uh, which are the factors and out of all those factors 5 is the highest one or the greatest one okay and the same way we can do part d for example we need to find out the highest common factor of 42 and 
factors of 42 1 2 3 uh, not 4 not 5 not okay what 6 6 7 are 42 7 6 are 42 not 8 not 9 not 10 neither 11 nor 12 nor 13 but 14 then 14 3 is a 42 then 2 times 21 so 21 is also a factor of 42 and then 142 is 42 and for the factors of 70 we can have 1 2 not 3 not 4 but 5 not 6 7 10 10 7 are and 7 10 are and then 5 14 are and then 2 35 are and then 170 are so out of all these factors as you can clearly see that 14 is the highest one so this is going to be the hcf of 42 and 70. so this is how we need to find out the factors of the two or more given numbers Now it's question number two. Not including the factor provided, find two numbers less than 20 that have an HCF of two. Um, the numbers to have HCF two, that means the number should be greater than or equal to two itself. And so starting after two, we need to start for four and 6. If you take out their HF, it is going to be 2. Then 8 as well. If you take the HF of 4 and 8 or 6 and 8, that will also be 2. Then, but not 8 rather. It should be 10 because uh, when you take the HCF of 4 and 8, their highest common factor is 4, not 2. So, 8 should not be over there. So, 10 should be there. And uh, then, not 12, uh, then 14. And that's it. So, any two numbers from this list. For example, you take the LCM of 6 and 14. Uh, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. And factors of 14 are 1, 2, 7 and 14. So out of these factors, HCF is 2. So that's why. That was part A, question number 2. And now it's part B. In HCF of 6, uh, the numbers to have HCF of 6 are like 6. After 6, we need to have 12. Then 6, 2 are 12 and 6, 3 are 18. Uh, so since we had to find out numbers which are less than 20, so these two numbers are the only po possibilities to have uh, such numbers. So... This is it for part B. Okay, question number three. What is the highest common factor of two different prime numbers? Give a reason for your answer. 
okay if there are two prime numbers let me take two and three for example what is the highest common factor since we know that for a prime number uh, it is divisible only by one and itself it hasn't got any third factor so one is common to both of them and then uh, two won't be a factor of 3 also 3 won't be a factor of 2 because these are prime numbers so that means they should be having uh, after or other than 1 only one factor that is the number itself so uh, the factors of 2 are 1 and 2 the factors of 3 are 1 and 3 so their HCF is 1 so yes this is going to be uh, 1 as the HCF so you can write down question number 3 1 is going to be the answer and reason being Every prime number has one and itself as the factors. So that is the valid reason for this question number three. Okay, question number four it is now. Uh, Simon has two lengths of rope. One piece is 72 meters long and the other is 90 meters long. He wants to cut both lengths of rope into the longest pieces of equal length possible. Longest. So how long will the pieces be? So for that we need to have the factors of 72. which are 1, 2, 3, 4, not 5, 6, not 7, eight there, nine there, eight nines are, and then six twelves are, then four, 18s are then 3 is 20 if I'm dividing it by 3 so 3 that's it for 24 okay then for 2 it is going to be 36 and for 1 it is 72 itself and for 90 now, the factors of 90 are 1, 2, 3, uh, not 4, 5 should be there, mm, 6, not 7, not 8, 9 should be there, 9 tens are and 10 nines are and then 6 was 15 times then 5 should be 18 times and then 3 was to be 20 times 30 times and 2 45 times and 1 90 times okay now from this list the common factors are many one two three then six then nine after nine we have got 18 18 since it is the highest of all the factors so 
this should be the HCF and the answer to this that should be 18 meters since the two values are given in meters so we need to write down the answer in the given units 18 meters so this is how we had to do question number four then it is question number five miss sanchez has 40 canvases and 100 tubes of paint to give to the students in her art group what is the largest number of students she can have if she gives each student an equal number of canvases and an equal number of tubes of paint so for this let's have the factors of 40 1 2 4 5 8s are 8 fives are then 4 was 10s are 2 20s are and 1 40s are and then factors of 100 1 2 4 5 10 not 15 not 12 and then 16 and then 20 then 25 then 50 52 are and then 100 are so out of these factors we can see very easily the common is 21 uh, 20 sorry so its answer is going to be 20 students and then 